Welcome to the XD Thermal Channel. Today, we are going to discuss aluminum extrusion multi-channel tubes. First of all, let's learn about the production process. 1. Heat long aluminum rods in a furnace and cut them into shorter sections. 2. Transfer the short sections of aluminum rods to the extrusion machine via a conveyor. 3. In the extrusion machine, heat and melt the aluminum rods, then extrude them through a mold. 4. Use a straightening machine to ensure the product's straightness. 5. Cut the product to the required length based on specific requirements. 6. Perform surface or other treatments as needed. For production process and requirements, I will share it in 6 points. 1. Raw Material Aluminum Rods Aluminum rods for multi-channel flat tubes are typically 3000 or 6000 series, selected per customer requirements. 2. Raw Material Quality Control In addition to sourcing high-quality raw materials, the heads and tails of long aluminum rods are usually removed when cutting them into shorter sections to reduce impurities. 3. Key Forming Steps Rods are heated and melted in the extrusion machine, then formed through a mold. Mold and temperature control are critical. 4. Molds Molds can be customized to product shape and tolerance. Using our existing molds can save on mold costs. 5. Minimum order Quantity For new molds, there is generally no specific minimum order. For batch production, the minimum is usually 500 kg due to one time and labor for mold changes. 2. The smaller the quantity, the more raw material is wasted, deheading and tailing, trial and production processes, etc. 3. Smaller orders can be negotiated. 6. Delivery time, typically 20 days, including mold production, with a minimum of 7 days. Complex molds may take longer due to testing and adjustments. Thank you for watching this video on aluminum extruded multi channel tubes. If you have any questions or would like more information, please feel free to contact us or stay tuned for our next video.